Hey, what's up everyone? This is Chris again with another video. Today I'm going to be doing an overview on the Moki ROM. This is going to be a nightly version 7.1.1. This is going to be the March 21st build. I'm going to leave a link down in the description to download the ROM from the Zook Fans EU site. I'm just going to kind of go over this ROM itself. Um, so first off, um, when you flash the ROM on, upon first boot, um, the, the ROM is going to be in Chinese. You're going to have to change the language to English or whatever language you choose. Um, secondly, there is no nav bar natively. Um, if we go into the settings first, um, in the display, for example, um, if you go into buttons, there's no way, well now there is, but I'll show you how we can get that activated. There's no way to enable the navigation bar in the settings. Um, so what we're gonna have to do to enable that is you have to go, of course you need to have root access, go over to your file manager, go to root, go to system, and then build prop. And then in the build prop we have to add a single line and that is this right here what I have highlighted qemu dot hw dot main keys equals zero so that basically turns on the main key the navigation bar and so if it says one just change the one to a zero um, and so that will then activate it you save reboot then your navigation bar will appear and then also your um, navigation bar settings here for the height and things like that um, will appear here as well. So that's the first little quirk. Um, second is the U-Touch is not working 100%. So similar to uh, Dirty Unicorns, um, it just works really quirky. Um, so apps that have the uh, fingerprint scanner um, like Pixel ID or uh, Nexus imprint, for example, when you lay your finger on the fingerprint scanner to um, unlock an app, for example, it will actually go back. It won't necessarily unlock. Um, it's a bug that i noticing. I have everything, if you saw real quick, the only thing I have basically enabled is the long press for the Google Assistant. Everything else is no action, no action, no action. But yet when I just tap on that button, the physical button, when I just tap on it, it goes back. When I long press, it doesn't do anything. You see that? I'm pressing holding, and once I let go the the button, it goes away as in like it's going back. So still, even though everything is disabled, um, when I press the home button, it goes home. When I just tap it as like a capacitive key, it still goes back. Um, so really weird. So that's why I have the navigation bar enabled. Um, that's the first quirk. Um, second quirk is when you first install the um, ROM itself, you're going to get a persistent notification basically saying that the phone is providing power to a USB device. And so in order to do that, you just plug your phone into a power, like a charger, and then unplug it and it'll go away. So that's the other thing. Um, so no, that's not too big of an issue, but buttons here, we do have your power menu. You can add, remove different options there. There aren't, there aren't that many uh, uh, modifications or settings that you can change with this ROM. So if you're looking for something that's more customizable, then this ROM may not be for you. Um, you can change the location of your your clock, um, what icons are up there, the status bar section. So quick pull down you do have the capability of. You can change, you have the network speed you can have if you so choose. Something else that comes with this is two Moki type applications that were pre-installed. So this you can basically a wake lock manager. You have something that disables or 
prohibits apps from starting in the background. You can turn those on or off. You can hibernate apps um, when the screen is off. And then you can kind of disable apps that maybe need broadcasts and things like that. So I'm not sure really, I never really dived into this. Um, but Aegis, Aegis, so that's one app. And then the other is Amaze. It's kind of like a another file explorer. And again, you can always... Um, you can always uninstall these using like Titanium Backup or another root explorer, just delete the APK um, and then restart your device. Um, so, so yeah, there is that. Um, the battery life on this, I've been getting around maybe four hours of screen on time, four, four and a half hours screen on time. Um, so not the best, but it's been okay. You have, of course, like other NuGet ROMs, your power management, performance levels, things like that. Um, I'm not sure if this is working or not, but the live display, I've noticed that even when I have this set to automatic, hue of the display 4100K, the screen doesn't really change at night. Um, so I'm not sure if the live display is working. So another thing that I've had issues with is do not disturb. So I have it basically do not disturb when at a specific time to go into that mode. So automatic rules every single day, basically starting at 1030 and turning off around seven the next morning. So I've had issues where apps that I know are supposed to be priority are not coming in as priority. Um, so I'm not sure why that's not working. Um, that might be a bug, who knows. And of course you do have all the standard um, NuGet options that you can swap between apps. Split screen works like you would expect. Now here's another thing, if you didn't see that real quick, let me just drag this down. So up here at the top, you have in the recents menu, you have the amount of space free for RAM, about 1.2 gigs, and then your clear all button is consistent up here in the top right. There's no way to change the location, there's no way to turn this off, at least from what I found. Um, so that's unfortunate. Um, I would like to see the clear all to be similar to the NuGet, um, where it appears once you scroll all the way through. Um, but other than that, that's it. Um, Heads up works, that's fine. You can move those around, things like that. So that is another nice thing I like about the ROM. It does have nightly updates, um, which you can download with the Moki Manager or Moki Center. Um, you can download them directly from here. It puts it into your internal storage. You can boot into your TWRP and flash that way. Another thing, I'm not sure if this is specific to this ROM or if it was an update to Substratum, but with the Pixel UI theme, you now have the pixel animation when pressing that home button, which is super awesome. So Substratum works just fine on this ROM and the Pixel UI. So there you go. So if you guys have any questions about Moki, I knew some of you we're asking about it so here you are once again i really appreciate you all for supporting my channel like the video if you liked it and please share the video and channel to others that way you can help me grow and i will see you all in the next one take care